Hello and welcome to the Wyandotte Leavenworth Area Agency on Aging and ADRC's presentation on how to enable your Wi-Fi connection. We at the Area Agency on Aging have recently created new videos on basic computer tasks, such as how to sign into an Apple iPad and how to create an email address, which we will have links to in the description box below in order to expand the understanding of technology for those 60 and up. In relation to those videos, we have this presentation explaining how to connect to a Wi-Fi network, along with a few other things, like how to check if you're connected, and what, along with the short video tutorial on that, and what are some companies that can help you obtain a Wi-Fi connection if you do not have one. So without, let's get started. But before we get into the meat of our presentation, we should start by going over exactly what Wi-Fi is. Also known as wireless fidelity, Wi-Fi is the radio signals that have been sent to a wireless router, which will in turn go to nearby devices, allowing them to access data from the internet. They can then send those signals back to the router. That way they can receive and transmit information back and forth. To the internet, most internet providers will give you a device that is both modem and router. Modems connect your home network to the internet, whereas a router gives all wired and wireless devices in your location access to it. Now, if your computer is connected to an ethernet cable, you will not need to connect to Wi-Fi, as it will already have a direct connection to your network and to the internet. Now, we just threw a lot of words at you, so if you would look down below at our handy dandy hierarchy, we can explain this a little better. Your internet service provider, whether it be Google Fiber, AT&T, Spectrum, et cetera, will turn on internet to your location through an outlet known as a coax cable. The coax cable will connect to a mod modem, which gives your network access to the internet. Ethernet cords can then attach to the modem and to all your wired devices such as desktop computers, and to your router. Once the router is connected, that turns on Wi-Fi so all your wireless devices can now access the internet. So now that you know that what Wi-Fi is, it's important to know how to check if you're connected to it. So first, you'll want to look at your computer's toolbar for the Wi-Fi icon. It should look like the images on the right with the stair step design. If it hasn't appeared automatically, then you'll need to check your settings. You can right click on the empty spot on your taskbar and select taskbar settings. Options for icons should appear, but you'll want to locate the switch labeled network and turn it on. So the ones that we're talking about to make sure it's connected are over here in the green box labeled connected. The blue background that is for Windows whereas the gray white one is for Apple. And the icon we're specifically talking about for the Windows is the center one, and for Apple, the one on the left. If you have an Apple computer and the icon isn't there, you'll have to follow a different setup to make sure it's visible. You'll need to go to your home menu and select system preferences, and then network. You want to select the tab Wi-Fi and then show Wi-Fi status in the menu bar. The bottom images on the right, these are what the icons look like if you're not connected to Wi-Fi. So over here in the red labeled disconnected, the blue background is for Windows, whereas the gray one to Wi-Fi, you'll want to click on the Wi-Fi icon and select the network you want to use. Now, once you've clicked on it, it may ask you to enter a network password or to agree to the network's terms and conditions. Once you've entered it correctly, you should be connected to the Wi-Fi. You'll see examples of what network options look like for Windows and Apple computers over here on the left. The dark blue is for Windows, whereas the one with the pink background on the right is for Apple. Now we do have a little short video tutorial on how to find networks to connect to Wi-Fi. So this is gonna be for computers that have Windows on it. Unfortunately, we don't have one for Apple. Okay, 
So we're here at the home screen and we're gonna to wanna to scroll down to the bottom of the screen where the task bar is. That's down here. This is the task bar. And you're gonna to wanna to find the icon that has the stair step design on it and click on it. So that's gonna be over here. And this is the one we want. That's gonna bring up all available network options. So let's say we wanted to use another network, not the one that we're connected to right now. We're gonna click on it. Let's say this one and hit connect. Now it may ask for a pin, which you'll need to type in. And since I don't have a password for this one, we're just gonna type in a little not few and then erase. And we're just gonna hit cancel on this and reconnect to our previous network, which it's, it may take a moment. And there we go. We are now reconnected and have access to the internet. If you don't have Wi-Fi access and are interested in finding out about internet carrier options available here in KC, we're gonna talk about three companies in this section, which are Google Fiber, Spectrum, and AT&T. These are just three of the companies available in the Metro. So if these do not meet your needs, don't feel pressured to contact any of them. Cool. Thing is Google Fiber. Google Fiber offers two plans one gig and two gig with prices at $70 or $100 a month. One gig offers download and upload speeds up to one gigabyte with no data caps or annual contracts and one terabyte of free cloud storage. At $100 a month, two gig offers download speeds up to two gigabytes and uploads at one. There's one terabyte of free cloud storage, no data caps or annual contracts, 24 seven customer support, and professional installation. As we have stated previously, there are no annual contracts with Google Fiber, but they do change their prices from time to time, and they will notify you of any changes 30 days before your first changed bill. To find out if you qualify for Google Fiber, you can use our localization tool to see if services are available in your area. We'll provide a link in the description box below. If you do qualify, you can contact Google Fiber at 844-363-4237. There's multiple plans depending on what features you need and what prices you can afford. And now we are gonna go over three of those plans, which are Spectrum Internet, Internet Ultra, and Internet Plus TV Select, with prices ranging from $17 to $100 a month. $49.99 a month for 12 months, has internet speeds at 200 megabits per second, although speeds may vary, and it comes with a free internet modem and no data caps. Spectrum Internet Ultra comes at $69.99 a month with speeds up to 4,000 megabits per second, a free modem, and no data caps. Lastly, Internet Plus TV Select, which is a TV and internet bundle, so if you don't need TV along with internet, we don't recommend this option for you. At $99.98 a month, comes with download and upload speeds of 200 megabits per second, 125 plus TV channels, and thousands of on-demand choices. Just to reiterate, these are only three of the plans Spectrum has to offer, as there may be other options available to you if you qualify for their services. To see what they are offering in your area, Spectrum has a localization feature similar to what Google Fiber has, which they can tell you what plans they have along with their prices and products. Another thing to keep in mind with Spectrum is that their prices change after their two year promotional period, and they do have 12 month long contracts. So if you have any questions about their plans and availability, you can contact Spectrum at 1-855-270-2943. All right, and our last company we'll be talking about is AT&T Fiber. Three of their plans are called Internet 300, Internet 500, and Internet 1000, with prices ranging from $55 to $80 a month. 
Internet 300 at $55 a month after a $5 month auto pay and paperless bill discount, meaning you'll need to sign up for auto pay and paperless bills in order to qualify for that discount, offer speeds up to 300 megabits per second, and connects up to 10 devices. Internet 500 at $65 a month has speeds up to 500 megabits per second and connects up to 11 devices. And lastly, Internet 1000 at $80 a month has search speeds up to one gigabyte and connects up to 12 devices. The options are available to you. You can use AT&T's localization system just like the two previous companies have. TNT Fiber is that they do not have price increases after the first 12 months, along with no annual contracts or equipment fees. All right, and that brings us to the end of our presentation. So if you like our content, check out the Unified Government of Wyandotte County, Kansas City, Kansas's YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash C slash Unified Government. Once there, click the playlist tab and choose Wind Out Leavenworth Area Agency on Aging. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Or join us on our Facebook group, Wind Out Leavenworth Area Agency on Aging. Council on Aging, their office is located at 1830 South Broadway Street in Leavenworth, Kansas. Their main office phone number is 913 684 07 Seven seven, and their office hours are Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. If you'd like to get into touch with the Wyandotte Leavenworth Area Agency on Aging, their office is located at 849 North 47th Street, Suite C in Kansas City, Kansas. Their main office phone number is 913-573-8531. You can visit their webpage at www.wycokck.org slash aging or you can email them at 60 plus at wycokck.org. Their office hours are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. On behalf of the Area Agency on Aging, we'd like to thank you for joining us today, and we hope that the information that we have provided has been helpful to you. Be sure to check out more of our videos, and have a great day.